All right, let's just let's just dive into this video. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Jerry Blaze, bringing you another video on the channel, and welcome back. Uh, this video has been a video that I've been putting off for a while now, and it's a video that just needs to be made uh, in order for me to just just move forward with my life and everything um if you've seen the title you already know what this is about but yeah uh i'm done uh 2023 was a year of failures regrets and we had some we had some good moments in 2023 but there was a lot to look back on and a lot of things that i just I just left a poor taste in my mouth and it's very hard to forget about you know um so let's just dive into it let's just talk about 2023 and everything um like in 2023 if you were around at the beginning of the year you would know that um i uh, hit a point where i didn't have water for an entire month <laughs> uh i came back from vacation and found out that my water bill hadn't been paid in months and i'm not going to go into detail about all of that just because i want to keep that private but yeah found out that my water bill hadn't been paid for months and went without water for a while and even though I came into the year with a lot of hopes and a lot of like ideas that kind of set me back in a lot of different ways and it, it just spiraled out of control. Some of the things that I like wanted to do just got derailed and it kind of like didn't help me get back. So yeah. Uh, on top of that situation, it was my final year or my final semester in college, which that's a plus. I did graduate with my second degree, but that semester was extremely, extremely stressful in terms of making sure I graduated, making sure that I just, I just made it through and I was able to walk that stage for one final time. And in doing so to make my main focus my studies i kind of like fell off on terms of being consistent and uploading videos and everything like that which is the big point that i want to get at um but i'm like all over the place with it so yeah consistency is what i'm trying to get at we failed at being very very consistent last year and because of that we weren't able to meet any of the goals that i had set for last year one of the main goals was to hit 5k subs by the end of the year and the goal like the big goal you know the out of reach goal but could still be possible was to hit 10k and none of that happened because i constantly just made up excuse after excuse after excuse of why i couldn't upload a video or sit down and of course i advocate for focusing on your studies and making sure that you take care of yourself but there are just a lot of days where i had the time to record i had the capabilities of recording and i just chose not to and just came up with an excuse to just not record and of course as you guys know like when it came to uploading videos or making videos i just didn't want to record a video if my heart wasn't in it but for the most part i was just being lazy a lot of the time and that just doesn't generate a lot of good value in terms of the content that i want to put out and so when it came time for me to actually sit down and record i recorded just to record videos not because i enjoyed it and so it it kind of got to a point to where some of the content was very stale and so in doing so by like just forcing myself to record videos i ended up overwhelming myself with what i wanted to do and how i wanted to try to get back on track of things and 
the more I tried to get back on top of things, the more overwhelmed I got. And it led to me just not being able to produce the amount of content or the content that I wanted to do. You know, I would end up killing off series too early if I saw that it wasn't performing well, or if it got to a point to where I was forcing myself to record that content, I was just, I was just like, you know what? All right, this isn't good. I'm just going to move on rather than actually having fun with the series and bringing out what makes my content, my content. On top of that, like I would watch some of my friends and others just succeed and excel and I would slowly grow envious of their growth and I would try to replicate what they were doing and that's just not great. All right. If you were ever trying to make it into this space and be a content creator, you don't want to try to emulate what others have done you don't want to emulate what other people have succeeded in doing you want to make your content genuine and yours and there was multiple times where i would dive back into my old dark habits of being envious of my friends or being envious of other content creators that were su succeeding and trying to replicate what it was that they were doing and th that's not what i want and like that leads me to where we succeeded last year we were able to slowly build confidence thanks to the theater program that i was in there were multiple times where people were congratulating me on the things that i did there were multiple times where people were like impressed by the way i did things such as me being a director such as me being an actor like there were so many times where i put a spin on things that nobody ever saw before and that's what makes me different than a lot of other people i look at things differently and i see and perceive things a way that no one has ever done it before and that's the way i like to do things i like to break the mold and change things up and do things my way you know i refined how i went about videos because of how i saw people such as sacred did his videos and people like united gamer ryan aka king corfish hell even eq i saw how they refined their content to a way that made it more entertaining to watch and i in turn when i finally decided to throw away all the envy that i had in my heart to focus on me and it became something great and you guys have shown so much support with the pokemon myth videos the pokemon vanguard videos and so on and so forth even the streams you guys have came out and showed so much love and support and i can't thank you guys so much for that like you guys i can't thank you enough for all of that like this like the past year i made a lot of friends who i didn't think i would be friends with i got to talk to people i didn't think i would get to talk to i i got to meet Krim and eq again I haven't seen them since 2020 when we all went to PAX East and then COVID hit. And I haven't seen them since in person. So getting to go to Krim's wedding and getting to hang out with them again was an amazing feeling. And I, it, it helped, it helped me a lot. You know, like seeing my best friends in person and getting to hang out with them, it changed me, you know? So it, it was a great time and talking to a lot of people while I was in New York, it, it changed, like it changed my perspective and not necessarily my perspective, but it changed my mindset and got me back into the way I like to do things. It opened and cleared my mind. And it reminded me of how much I used to love learning new things and experiencing new things. And towards the end of the year, I started back reading. I started back doing so much stuff that I used to love doing back when I lived on campus and when I first moved into this apartment and like essentially back when we used to do a podcast and I enjoyed that so much, you know, and all in all this past year, while it did have its downsides and there was a lot of downside, it did have some good moments and that I can take with me and move on. You know, 
So just like the title says, uh, overall, I'm done. I'm done with everything. Um, and I, I'm, I feel content. I, I feel like I can move forward and go out and do what it is that I want to do. So, uh, I thank you guys for an amazing 2023 and I thank you guys for everything that you've done for me, but this is where I say that I'm done with all the negativity that's in my fucking brain right now because I swear to God I'm not going through it again in 2024 this next year is going to be the year that I change everything that is about this channel about me and about everything that I set out to do all right and if I click baited you you better like this video you better subscribe and you better share it out with your family and friends all right now let me reintroduce the video what's going on guys it's your boy jerry blaze bringing you a new video on this channel and moving into 2024 i have so many plans it is unreal okay i have a notebook in my dresser that is right here underneath my desk okay we got new series new projects old projects and so much more we got new collabs old collabs and baby when i tell you you don't want to miss out on a single damn thing ladies and gentlemen boys and girls jb's back oh and jb's gonna be cooking in this content kitchen baby all right let's just talk about a couple things okay this year i plan on being more consistent and i know i say this every single year every single new series that i drop on this channel but god damn it i promise i'm going to be consistent this year all right right after this video i plan on recording all of the new videos that i plan on uploading on this channel but we're not just going to be uploading videos on this channel ladies and gentlemen the jb plus channel is going to be going live this year all right we're going to be stream recording a lot we're going to be doing live recordings not stream record we're going to be doing live recordings so much this year we're talking about live recordings of god of war a blind playthrough of god of war we're going to be doing a blind playthrough of spider-man even though back in the day i did a couple of streams of it we're going to be doing a blind playthrough of spider-man we're going to be doing the last of us we're going to be doing a lot of kingdom hearts content and a lot of other games that i've been wanting to play but never got to play such as bioshock you're welcome poro it there's just so much that i want to play that i have never gotten a chance to experience if some of you guys may know i was a sheltered quote unquote sheltered kid so i never got the chance to play a lot of games that a lot of people are hyped about you know i want to be able to experience the same love for these games as you guys do whenever you see a new trailer drop or a remake of a game in the past you know i want to enjoy those as much as you enjoy them and if you're excited for some blind playthroughs get yourself ready grab your popcorn grab your hot cocoa sit down with your blanket and get ready all right because daddy is about to get did i just i might have gone too far with this but you know what we ain't reeling it back in we're gonna be bringing back some old series on the channel that you guys have been asking me for all right we're gonna be bringing it back a stream nuzlocks we're gonna be bringing it back like we're gonna be bringing hardcore nuzlocks i'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff on this channel in terms of pokemon as well pokemon streams are not going anywhere they're coming back baby and uh, trust me i'm working on it okay i'm sorry that it's taking me a long time but i'm coming back to pokemon streams okay we're gonna be playing probably some pokemon unite we're gonna be doing some live playthroughs of rom hacks we're gonna be doing some live like some live nuzlocks and ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i can announce that the mystery dungeon collection series an og staple on this channel that never got finished and was never realized is coming back okay we used to do a lot of the mystery dungeon collection series on this channel 
and boy howdy am i excited to bring it back especially because it's going to help me with my voice acting and a lot of you guys love my voice acting so get ready for some more voice acting action okay and on top of that i'm just excited to just get back into the things and like i said we're going to be doing more variety content on the channel for the second channel and not just in stream format there may be days where i'm just hanging out with the friendos and i might want to record so i record whatever session we're doing and you guys will get to see that but when i do stream you guys have been asking me for like a place to re-watch the vods if you miss out on it so i've discovered uh, i've discovered i decided to make a third channel for you guys for all of you vod watchers out there or for all of you who like to just listen to my streams while in the background jb vods is coming soon or that the name is patent pending i'm working on it i'm thinking about calling it jb13 something something along those lines let me know what you think we should call the channel in the comment section down below but we're also going to be trying to do more IRL content because I want to travel more this year. I'm going to be hanging out with Cryptic when we go to Miami for a COD event in March. All right. We're going to be headed out to Miami to see the Miami CDL major. And trust me when I say I'm so freaking excited for it. If you're going to be in the Miami area or if you're a COD for like aficionado, come out. Let's hang out. Let's do like some sort of meetup. I'm excited for it and I'm excited to see you. If you're gonna be there, let's let's hit me up. Let's take a couple pictures. Let's hang out and let's have an absolute blast. All right. But also on top of that, if you are a camera nerd, like I would like to be a camera nerd or just some stream buff that knows a lot of things that I could do to spruce up the setup and make it more enticing to look at, because as you guys can see, I've been working on it. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you know some cool equipment that you think would look nice in the setup, leave it in the comment section down below. Message me on Discord, send me a DM on Twitter or at me on Twitter, all of these social links down below. Make sure you join the Discord, make sure you follow me on Twitter. And yeah, make sure you subscribe to our other channels. All of those links are gonna be in the description down below. Um, and yeah. The biggest thing that I want to talk about, right? And this is going to be the most me thing that I talk about, okay? Is that we have a new stream series starting soon. And ladies and gentlemen, for all of you Kingdom Hearts fans out there, we're gonna be starting the Kingdom Hearts 3 Critical Master Mode series. And for those of you guys who don't know what that is, Kingdom Hearts 3 has this thing on critical mode where I can make the game 10 times harder by turning on all of the pro codes. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try to beat Kingdom Hearts 3 using every pro code in the game on critical mode 100%. And I have never attempted this before in my life. So you can best believe there's gonna be a lot of raging. There's gonna be a lot of crying. Maybe not so much the crying, but there's gonna be a lot of raging. There's gonna be a lot of upsetment. There might be a couple broken controllers, but it's gonna be enjoyable, baby. Oh, it's gonna be enjoyable, all right, all right? So don't miss out on it. But with that said, I'm gonna get up out. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching and I can't wait to spend 2024 with you guys. Of course, our goal as always is 5K subs by the end of the year and remember, when we hit 10k subs, I'll be dyeing my hair pink and getting my very first tattoo. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that like button and share it out with your family and friends. But with that said, I'm going to get up out. I'm Jerry Blaze. We're going to be infamous in everything you do. I love you 2000. And I'll catch you in the next one. I forgot one more thing.